Captain Russell was a veteran of the Space Force, having led several successful expeditions in the past. He was confident that his crew and his ship were ready for any challenge they might encounter, but he was not prepared for what they found in the Zeta system, a cluster of planets orbiting a dying star. As they approached the first planet, which seemed to have signs of life, they detected a large object moving towards them at a high velocity. It was a massive ship, shaped like a giant squid, with tentacles and eyes that glowed red. It was unlike anything they had ever seen before. The first officer, Lieutenant Grimes, reported. Captain, we have an unidentified vessel approaching us. It does not respond to our hails. It seems hostile. Shields up, weapons ready. Let's see what they want. The alien ship fired a barrage of plasma bolts at them, which the Hope One barely dodged. The captain realized that they were dealing with an aggressive spacefaring alien race and that they had to fight back or flee. Return fire. Target their engines and weapons and try to find a way to communicate with them. Maybe we can reason with them. Send a distress signal to the other Hope ships for assistance. The Hope One launched a volley of missiles and lasers at the alien ship, hoping to disable it or at least slow it down. But the alien ship was agile and resilient, and it avoided most of the attacks. It also retaliated with more plasma bolts and energy beams, which damaged the Hope One's shields and hull. The chief engineer, Commander Lee, warned, Captain, we are taking heavy fire. Our shields are down to 20%. We have hull breaches on decks 5 and 6. We need to get out of here. Negative, Commander. We can't let them follow us. We have to stop them here and now. He knew that if they retreated, the alien ship would pursue them and possibly attack other human colonies or ships. He also knew that this was a rare opportunity to learn more about this new species and their motives. He decided to take a risk and try something daring. Lieutenant Chen, plot a course that will take us behind that asteroid over there. We'll use it as cover and surprise them from behind. Lieutenant Chen nodded. Yes, sir. She quickly entered the coordinates into the navigation system and activated the thrusters. The Hope One maneuvered towards the asteroid, hoping that the alien ship would not notice their move. Commander Lee, prepare a special payload for our next missile. I want you to attach a transmitter to it with a universal translator program. Maybe we can get through to them somehow. Understood, sir. I'll do my best. He hurried to the missile bay and modified one of the missiles with a transmitter device. He loaded it into the launcher and waited for the captain's signal. The Hope One reached the asteroid and hid behind it. The alien ship seemed confused by their disappearance and slowed down its pursuit. It scanned the area with its sensors, looking for them. Now! Like and follow for episode 5.